G'day everyone, welcome to another episode of Mr. Code Steam Podcast. Today we are going to learn how to change the version uh, of this Spike Prime hub from version 3 back down to version 2. Now why would you want to do that? Well the most popular reason is that you have your program written in version 2 and in version 3 it is no longer compatible so the program doesn't run. Uh, the other really really big reason you would do this is because you want to code in Python which is amazing but it is not uh, available in version 3 yet. So you would want to restore this version back to version 2 so that you can continue working on Python. Now here's the problem. Uh, a few videos ago I have uh, outlined uh, all the changes between version 2 and 3 and you can check it out over the link over here. Uh, but downgrading from version 3 to version 2 is quite a hassle. Now this is the main reason. If you check out the uh, hub downgrading tool link uh, you'll see that it's only compatible in Chrome OS or Chrome browser on Mac OS. It is not available uh, for Windows 10 or 11. Yeah, see down here, it's not going to be compatible with Windows 10 or 11. I've tried it using this, uh, this tool and it's just not going to detect your hub. So what do we do instead? We're going to check out this PyBricks solution instead. Now PyBricks uh, is uh, is something that's new to me. I have not used PyBricks before, so uh, you're going to be on this learning journey along with me. But I've heard that their downgrade solution is a lot more elegant. So let's check it out. So all we have to do is go into the PyBricks link, then we click on this um, restore official Lego firmware. And then we choose our hub, we go next, and then we're going to uh, do the uh, very similar uh, operations that you would do to downgrade uh, using the downgrade tool in the official website. But we're going to plug in the hub while clicking on the Bluetooth button. Okay, so uh, let's, let's try that. So here we're going to look at our table going to hit the Bluetooth button. Make sure your finger is off the center so that you can see when it is actually changing color. Uh, we're going to plug in the USB at the same time. Now it's flashing purple. And then now it's making these rainbow colors. Now let's look back onto our uh, hub software over here. So it says to press and hold, yes, connect it, yes, wait for Bluetooth, start flashing, yes, release the Bluetooth button, and then click on the restore button below. And then in the pop-up, we have to click connect. Okay, let's do that. Wants to connect, no compatible devices found. Hmm. Ah, oh, okay. So here's the thing. It says that uh, we are, if we are using it for the first time, we need to manually install the USB driver. Okay, let's try that. A few moments later. Okay, so I followed the instructions <laughs> to install my driver. Let's see if that's all I need. All right, we'll try it again. The hub is still flashing, by the way. So after all this, Hub is still flashing. Click restore. Ah, I see the hub on the list now. Connect. Erasing the old firmware. Okay. You know what? This is actually, I mean, it's a hassle, but it's, but it's pretty painless. Okay, so it's asked me to run an update. All right, the hub has been updated and uh, it, it looks and feels like version two now. So you see that there's now a white light and it's got the little animations and clicks and buzzes as well. So that was really unexpected. I am glad that we found a way to downgrade uh, version 3 to version 2 using a Windows computer, which is of course the most popular computers. Uh, and uh, it was relatively pain-free 
thanks to Pybricks. So would you like to see more Pybricks on this channel? If you do, then um, make sure you comment in the comment section below. I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, More Educational. Ever since Creative Academy started making LEGO education videos, we have been greatly supported by the experts at More Educational. They're an authorized partner of LEGO Education with over 25 years experience working with LEGO Education products. So if you're in Australia and you want to buy genuine LEGO Education products like the ones shown in this video, then make sure you visit the More Educational website. That's it from me today. If I helped you out, make sure you leave a like and a subscribe. I will see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.